Hi everyone, it's Hania Fanyolas here and today I'm going to share with you how to make these ghost pumpkins. Aren't these adorable? I love how these turned out. And to make the cookies I used my cutout sugar cookie recipe and to decorate I'm using royal icing. You can find both of these recipes here on YouTube and also on my blog. So to start I made myself a decorating guide and I had this in front of me uh, when I was drawing these ghost shapes on a cookie. I'm using edible marker here and this is brown edible marker by Sweet Sugar Bell. You can also use a different marker if you don't have this particular marker. And to decorate I'm gonna start with white royal icing. This is 20 second consistency here. And uh, those of you who are experiencing heavy cratering in your royal icing you can try piping a zigzag line in the middle of each shape and let that line crust and then pipe a layer of icing over it. This line acts like a support beam, so to speak, and uh, it helps prevent cratering. To make the eyes and the mouth, also use about 20 second black royal icing. When making black royal icing, I get lots of questions about that. I find that it really helps to let the icing rest, preferably overnight and even if you have time for several days. So what I like to do, I like to color my royal icing with concentrated gel food color, like Emery Color Brand or uh, Chef Master. And I color it to the point when it's like super, super dark gray and then I let it be and I let it, I let it rest. So once these ghosts are done we have to let these crust for about 40-50 minutes and then you can airbrush the edges. You can see I'm really close to the cookie controlling where I'm airbrushing And what would be really fun, actually, guys, you could make these ghosts in different colors and then airbrush with black. Just an idea. You can really have fun with this design. So once you are done airbrushing, we can flood the whole thing. So to flood, I'm using purple royal icing. This is also 20 second consistency here. And I used straight from the bottle gel food coloring called uh, Regal Purple. It's a um, food color by Emery Color Brand. If you don't have this uh, gel color, you can also use Sky Blue and Electric Pink. I have done that many, many times in the past and you'll be able to get really nice purple that way also if you mix these together. I'm using purple sanding sugar. You can also use white sanding sugar if you don't have purple, but I had purple and it seemed like a good occasion to use it. And underneath I have a coffee filter. It's going to catch all the excess sugar and it makes cleanup easier. Now I'm just gonna lift it up and give it a light tap to remove excess. And look how pretty. I love what sanding sugar does. Just beautiful and to finish up I'm adding a stem I'm using stiff royal icing that I colored with some ivory food coloring and this is a star tip number 14 you can also use 16 and to decorate the stem I'm using gold luster dust here this is dry gold gold luster dust and I'm adding some alcohol this is Everclear. I'm just adding it into a palette here and I'm just gonna mix it. You don't want to dilute it too much. If that happens that you dilute it too much, just let it sit for several minutes, minutes and alcohol will evaporate and it will thicken as the alcohol evaporates. Now we're just gonna paint the stem. And here they are, pumpkin ghost cookies. I love, absolutely love how these turned out. They're so simple to make and I can see you guys making these in different colors. And um, when you do, don't forget to tag me on social media. And if you are new to my YouTube channel, also don't forget to subscribe. And you can also sign up to my uh, cookie decorating newsletter. Link is in the description box under this video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.